Produced until 1958, the Canadair Sabre has the distinction of being one of the finest dogfighters of its era and was credited as being a worthy opponent to the Soviet MiG-15 in the skies over Korea. The Canadair version was built under license from North American Aviation. In 1948, the Royal Canadian Air Force ordered 10 Sabres to join its fleet, with another 90 being ordered during the Korean War. Crewed by just one pilot and with a swept wing design, the aircrafts were able to achieve high speeds of over 1,100 kilometers per hour while maintaining excellent maneuverability. Variants of this aircraft flew at the U.S. Air Force, the Japanese Self-Defense Force, and the last Sabres were retired from service with the Bolivian Air Force as late as 1994. The Sabre holds the distinction of being the first ever aircraft to break the sound barrier over Canadian soil. In addition, the Canadair built prototype of the Sabre that allowed Jacqueline Cochran to become the first female pilot to break the sound barrier during a flight in 1953. By the end of its production, a total of 9,860 Sabres were produced, of which 1,815 were built by Canadair. The Royal Canadian Air Force retired its Sabres in 1962 to make way for more modern fighter jets, such as the CF-104 Starfighter.